Bio Overview. The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. Alexeva University Overview Very little is known about Alexeva University or its motives. Evidence appears to suggest that the organization exists in some sort of alternate universe in which Latin and Greek cultures maintain dominance at least over the Western Hemisphere. Nothing to date is known about any other part of this world. All university-related objects have been found in the mid-southern United States, and more specifically in Tennessee, leading Foundation researchers to believe the university itself is located in that geographical area. Many objects associated with the university, which is not believed to have built the objects, are recovered during postal transit via an agency known as Tinchansimun Tumbai, and accompanied by relevant paperwork, which has helped shed light on the objects and place from which they came. To date, all that is known about the methods that transfer the objects is that technology uses principles similar to that of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, a concept considered purely theoretical by contemporary science. A particular section of the university, known as the Department of Natural Philosophy, is considered responsible for the transferences, possibly without the knowledge or consent of the rest of the organization. Ambrose Restaurant Overview. Ambrose Restaurant is a large-scale chain of fine dining eateries located in various public locations across Earth, along with several locations in anonymous or extra-dimensional locations of interest. These restaurants specialize in anonymous food and culinary practices, and vary widely in variation and style. Despite the scale of the Ambrose Restaurant's chain, they are generally non-hostile and will instead flee from threats directed towards them. Ambrose Restaurant is currently believed to be jointly owned by the persons of interest, Charles Ambrose and Marius, but due to lack of public appearances, this is unconfirmed. Notably, several groups of interest have engaged in relations with Ambrose Restaurant, including Marshall Carter and Dark Limited, and Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting, though the extent with which they collaborate is unknown. As the Ambrose Restaurant's chain continues to expand beyond anonymous markets, any new locations are to be shut down and valuable information on Ambrose Restaurant saved. Anderson Robotics Overview Based in the Pacific Northwest, Anderson Robotics first came to the Foundation's attention in 2007 with the capture of SCP-1360, led by Vincent Anderson and specializing in the sale of anomalous androids, robots, artificial intelligences, and cybernetics. Anderson Robotics has quickly gained a fair amount of traction in the realm of power technology. The group's small size, remarkable espionage capabilities, and surprisingly large resource base has made apprehension of any Anderson employee difficult, with only a handful of Anderson products currently in the hands of the Foundation. Arcadia Overview Defined by its highest highs and lowest lows, Arcadia was a drug field rampage through the video game industry. The occult fixation led to the exploitation and damnation of their customers. After the fatal game crash of 1983, Arcadia entered the era of decline from which they still have not recovered. 
Although it may not be the powerhouse it once was, the former members of Arcadia still live among the general population. The remnants of their empire can be found in thrift stores and at garage sales across America. They're still out there, snorting pentagrams of cocaine off joysticks to this day. Are we cool yet? Overview A collective of anomalous artists or an artist, members of Are We Cool Yet? are capable of either obtaining or producing anomalous objects and entities and using them to create art installations. These installations are placed for maximum public exposure and have been fatal to bystanders. The phrase Are We Cool Yet? is always present in some way. The Black Queen Overview. Very little conclusive information has been recovered about the person of interest called the Black Queen. She claims the given name Alison Cho, the name of the daughter of researcher Dr. Beep Gears and Beep Cho before Gears' recruitment by the Foundation. The Black Queen possesses unusual knowledge of Foundation structure and activities and contained anomalies. The reason for this unusual knowledge has yet to be conclusively identified, but appears to be gained partially through anomalous means, including the possibility of extra-universal information sources. She has repeatedly been able to breach Foundation security, utilizing this information in addition to classified anomalous means. Conflicting reports exist of the Black Queen's activities and motivations, Likely due to multiple individuals or deliberate counterintelligence, initial reports characterize her as malevolent, murderous, and destructive. Other reports characterize her as neutral or benevolent. All intelligence indicates her hostility towards the Foundation. There are reports of the Black Queen's involvement with most major groups of interest known to the Foundation along with several world governments. Unverified sources claim that she is the same individual as L.S. of the Serpent's Hand, and that L.S. stands for Little Sister. The reason for this unusual close connection is possibly due to the Black Queen's use of the Wanderer's Library. Intelligence indicates the presence of multiple other individuals also calling themselves the Black Queen. The nature and origin of these individuals is inconclusive. The Chaos Insurgency Overview The Chaos Insurgency is a splinter group of the Foundation created by a rogue cell that went AWOL with several SCP objects in 1924. Since then, the Insurgency has become a major player on the world stage, using the anomalies that it obtains for its own benefit and to consolidate its global power base. The Insurgency not only deals in anomalies, but also in weapons running and intelligence gathering. It makes use of authoritarian regimes in poor and developing countries, often using their populations in the same manner as the Foundation does D-class personnel. It helps to maintain the extreme poverty and war that is suffered by these countries, so it can continue its radical experimentation easy conscription of forces, and lucrative business deals with various opposing factions. Most of the anomalous objects possessed by the insurgency are unknown. Among the most notable items are the Staff of Hermes, an item capable of warping the physical and chemical properties of any matter it touches, and the Bell of Entropy, an object that can cause a variety of destructive effects depending on where it is struck. Both of these items are originally obtained at no small cost by the Foundation and were stolen by the original founders of the Insurgency. The SCP objects and other anomalies stolen from the Foundation typically possess high potential for direct utility, but the Insurgency had also made use of anomalies with less direct applications, such as SCP-884. The main base of operations of the Insurgency is unknown, as are its current leaders. 
The organization is directly antagonistic to the Foundation, using deadly force to attempt to prevent Foundation containment of multiple anomalies. The Foundation has also been infiltrated by agents of the insurgency in the past, resulting in the loss of valuable scientific data, theft of a number of anomalies, and deaths of personnel. Personnel are made to be aware of possible raids, terrorist action, and spies from the insurgency, and are to notify their superiors about any activities from fellow personnel fitting the insurgency behavioral profile. The Chicago Spirit Overview During the early 20th century, the Chicago Spirit was the largest anomalous criminal organization in the Western Hemisphere, based in Chicago, Illinois. The group's influence extended to most major cities in the United States, particularly New York, Boston, New Orleans, and the extra-dimensional city-state of Three Portlands. The spirit was known for recruiting individuals with anomalous capabilities, as well as creating and exploiting anomalous artifacts for use in criminal activities. The spirit was founded in 1895 by Chicago resident and bar owner Richard D. Chappell, who was himself an anomalous individual. Despite years of effort, the Foundation remained largely unsuccessful in its attempts to suppress Chappelle's rise to power, due in part to its limited resources at the time as a result of an ongoing internal crisis. In January of 1990, the Foundation officially suspended all opposition against the Chicago spirit to ensure their cooperation in preventing the spread of SCP-2680. Once allowed to operate unimpeded, the spirit flourished into a nationwide syndicate and eventually became a driving force in the illegal distribution of alcohol during the Prohibition era. Thanks to the success of its bootlegging business, the Chicago spirit continued to amass power over North American markets and politics throughout the 1920s, and the Foundation was eventually forced to terminate its truce with the group in order to prevent the complete dissolution of scientific normalcy. On July 11th, 1933, Richard Chappell was finally apprehended by Foundation operatives following a raid on the spirit's base of operations. In the absence of its leader, the group gradually destabilized, and most of its members and assets were acquired by other organizations. As of 1938, the Foundation officially considers the Chicago spirit to be defunct. However, rumors of the spirit's continued survival have persisted in subsequent decades. Various artifacts have been discovered which imply the group's involvement, though a conclusive link has yet to be proven. Furthermore, Recent evidence have revealed the emergence of a new syndicate, calling itself the Chicago Spectre, which seems to operate primarily in anomalous underground communities. Investigation into this group and its connections to the original spirit, if any, are ongoing. The Church of the Broken God Overview Shortly after the discovery and containment of SCP-882, several members of this church came forward and demanded the return of the Heart of the God, led by one Robert Bumaro. They are a group of zealots, believing many of the SCP items to be part of a God that was broken after the creation of the universe. By restoring it to its whole state, they will also gain Godhood. Since first contact, three other key components of the God have also been tentatively identified. SCP 217, SCP-271, and SCP-1139. They are extremely hostile to Foundation operatives, branding them heretics, and will attempt to kill operatives and break containment of SCP items. It is unknown how they were able to detect these items, but they have been shown their ability to do so with frightening accuracy. In addition, they have shown a remarkable ability to resist the mental effects of SCP items, notably SCP-882 and its mental lore. The Church is viewed as a threat to both the SCP Foundation and mankind. Members are to be detained by force 
or eliminated by whatever means deemed necessary by Foundation agents. Church of the Second High Toth Overview The Church of the Second High Toth is an occult organization of human and alien entities that adhere to the extraterrestrial or Tothan religion, aiming to aid a universal guardian deity, Rock Molusen, in combat against extra-universal threats known as Varutu. The central beliefs of the religion are that the current universe, the second High Toth, was preceded by a different universe, which used to exist until it was consumed by an extra-universal entity. A group of survivors led to the newly created second High Toth, our reality, with seven of them choosing to ascend to godhood to ensure the universe's safety. Six of these gods died over time, leaving Okmurusen as the last survivor. Operations taken by the church are performed underneath the veil, likely to avoid heavy scrutiny from normal sea organizations. The main language of the group is their totem extraterrestrial language, Oriel which has been anonymously kept unchanged despite the distances between our Tothan sects. Group members attribute this to acts of divine intervention. Human or Tothan belief systems are known to have existed by approximately 11,000 BCE, corresponding to the formation of the ancient or Tothan kingdom civilization, though modern branches have only been developed in the past century. A Tothan group separate from the church exists, all being significantly smaller in comparison, and tend to have differing moral beliefs. Beyond the church, the Atothan religion has an interstellar and intergalactic presence, having initially emerged among extraterrestrial civilizations. Numerous such Atothan civilizations are known to exist, with the full extent not yet ascertained. Among the largest of these is the Terzan II or Tothan Coalition, a collection of Tothan entities residing in Gobler Cluster Tarzan II at war with the hostile Twelve Stars Civilization. The only Tothan civilization known to have entered the solar system is Species of Interest 002. It is presumed extinct.